Peace and riches, blessings. I am Michael B. Beck with the host of Take Back Your Mind. Peace and blessings. I am Michael B. Beckwith. And this is Take Back Your Mind podcast, Life Question of the Week. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing. Today, Cindy asked this question. I have recently restarted my daily meditation practice and have come to realize that I have a deep fear of failure. I know what my gifts are. And I will come up with great ideas, but then I don't follow through or complete the projects I've started. This fear really shows up when I'm trying to understand what my purpose is. I feel stuck in this cycle. How can I get off this hamster wheel of fear? Cindy, thank you for this question. I think it resonates with so many people around fear and things of that particular nature. This fear really shows up when I try to understand what my purpose is, is what you said. Let's deal with this from two angles. One, I'm gonna make it easier for you because I'm gonna tell you what your purpose is because I believe everyone has the same purpose. We have different missions as to how we will reveal that purpose. We have different goals, different assignments, but do you know what our purpose is? Our purpose is to reflect and to reveal the face of the divine, the cosmos, the, the presence that's seeking to know itself as our life. So we all have this purpose to reveal the face of intelligence and beauty and love. So when you understand that that's your real purpose, regardless of what your job is, regardless of what your career is, regardless of what you're called to do at any given moment as an assignment from the universe, you have the purpose to show up and represent or represent the presence, to represent the cosmos, the living cosmos, in a way that has never happened before because you have never happened before. You're one of a kind, unique expression of infinite good. So when you embrace that purpose, now we get to the fear piece. And oftentimes, individuals are stymied because they're afraid to move forward for fear of failure. Some people are afraid to move forward for fear of success. And, and that sounds weird, but it's true. They're afraid of success and how it's going to, un they unconsciously know that it's going to change their life structures. It's going to change their relationships. It's going to change how people think about you. When you become successful, you're attacked by mediocrity. I've said for over 30 years that mediocrity attacks excellence. So whenever you start to break out of the cycle of mediocrity and you start to really go for your dream and wake up to your dream, mediocrity may attack you. Friends may not like you as much because you're not the same old person that you used to be. You're going for it. And so many people are afraid of success because of that, unconsciously. Many people are afraid of failure. They, they don't want to be talked about. If they go for something and it doesn't work out quite the way they planned it, well, I'm going to tell you something. People are going to talk about you either way. Mediocre minds talk about people either way. They talk about people who are successful, and they talk about people who have stumbled and fallen. So knowing they're already going to talk about you, who cares? You go for it, and this is how you do it. You don't try to eliminate your fear. You don't try to say, well, when I get over this fear, I'll take the next step in my project. No, 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 no. You take fear with you. You let it be a companion. Everything is energy so that energetic that we call fear is often a mask of the ego 
just projecting a worst case scenario into the future, trying to prevent you from going into the unknown, you take it with you. You say, come on, fear, let's go. And you have the fear there. But you take a baby step anyway. You keep getting up, you take another step. You take another step. Because if everything is energy, and energy is never created or destroyed, energy only transmutes itself. Ultimately, as you're taking baby steps on whatever project that you're procrastinating around, fear starts to become excitement. It, ch it changes to excitement. You get, you get excited about the possibilities. You get excited about what you're learning. You get excited about the places within you that need to change. You get excited about what you're discovering about yourself. You get excited about the possible success. Fear becomes excitement. And then, as you keep on going, one step after the other, excitement becomes enthusiasm. You start to become enthu enthused. When you look at the word entheos, it means in God you start to realize you're in the presence of God. And you're no longer excited, but you're enthused. But you can't get there if you, tr if you delay by saying, I can't get over my fear. Don't try to get over it. Take it with you. Say, I'm feeling fear. You know how it is when you, I don't know if you've ever done this, when you dive off, dive off a high diving board and you're standing up there and the pool looks so small and you're afraid and you leap anyway. You take the leap, you're afraid, but you leap, and you're excited, boom, then you're immersed in the water. Whoa. And ooh, you wanna do it again, and you wanna do it again, and pretty soon there's no fear, there's just excitement, and then pretty soon you're just enthused with this great passion about diving and swimming. Take your fear with you. Matter of fact, let's don't call it your fear. Let's say, take the fear with you. Let it become excitement. Let it become enthusiasm. You know your purpose, to reflect and to reveal the infinite as only you can. Cindy, you've asked a really good question. You have assisted a lot of people. Peace and blessings to you. Everyone have a beautiful day. I hope this served you because that's why we're here on Take Back Your Mind, to be of service to the awakening of humanity that each of us may give our gift or gifts. Peace and blessings. Hey, thank you for joining me today. If you'd like to ask a question, please email me at podcast at michaelbeckwith.com. And you know what? Your question just might be featured. Have a beautiful and bright day.